Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and today is Sunday, July 9th, 2023. This is our message, our weekly message that we look and see what is going on in the energies for this week. If you haven't taken notice of the last few weeks, things have been really, really moving at a fast pace. And so we want to check in and see what's going on for this week for July. And even though it's the beginning of the summer, the energy feels like it's moving and shifting super fast. And I don't know if you're feeling that, but I certainly am. So just tune in, take a minute. We have three cards pulled out, one, two, and three, and decide now which card you would like to go with. And we're going to start with our first card. Oh, you know what? I have to tell you guys to begin with. As I was shuffling the cards, we have two archangels with us today. They fell out of the deck. The first one is the Archangel Michael. The Archangel Michael comes in for strength, courage and protection notice his sword we might be talking about that later and the second archangel is the archangel raphael and the archangel raphael is the archangel of healing michael and raphael typically work together so they're coming in as a team and they're helping us so let's see now what the cards say for one, two, or three, and we'll kind of put it together and see where we're at this week. So for the first card, we have the card of gratitude, and the number on the card is 36. So that reduces down to the number nine. And so what that tells me right off the bat is something is ending in your life. Something that you have been going through for a long time and it's finally coming to an end. It could even be a feeling, a feeling that you have been carrying for a long time and you're done carrying it. You're no longer going to carry it. If you look at her in the card, she's looking up. She's looking up at the sky and she's thanking God. She's thanking all of her angels. She's thanking all of that support that she knows is up there, helping her and supporting her through the journey of what she was going through. So I want to ask you, have you been doing the same? Have you been offering gratitude for everything that you have gone through and all of the support that you have felt, even if it's dribs and drabs of support, maybe you're having like a, you're in a funk and you're having a hard time. And then all of a sudden something happens, some synchronicity, some sign, and then you're reminded that you do have support around you. Well, this card is saying, are you asking or offering gratitude? Now, the second part of this card is when we get to a point of gratitude, it's time to step it up. And what that means is you might be someone that's truly grateful, but now you're being asked to be grateful before the next thing happens that you're asking for or the thing that you're dreaming about or the goal that you're working on. Be grateful as if it already happened. Call in the white light. Ask the white light the Holy Spirit, the angels, whatever it is that you feel comfortable speaking with. Are you offering up gratitude before you even see the results? That's the key. The key is thanking whoever, whatever, the universe before it even happens. And that is what you are being encouraged to do if you chose card number one. Card number two is the card of kindness. And I think we had this card two weeks ago. So I'm going to pull another card, but it is a reminder that how are you treating those around you? How are you treating yourself? Remember that kindness is needed at this time. There are so many people in our world, and remember, we are all one. And if you didn't listen to that message, go back and listen to it a couple of weeks ago. I think it was two Sundays ago. And it's important to remember that how you treat others is a reflection of how you treat yourself. And if you are someone right now that is filled with anger or rage, 
and you are always yelling at people, I want you to take time to tune in because that means that there is something inside of yourself that you're so angry about. Whatever you're doing on the outside, you got to go inside and figure out why you're doing it. So let's see what goes with kindness for card number two. And card number two is face your challenges. So if you're having a hard time being kind, then you need to ask yourself why. What are you going through? You have challenges that are going on. You might be someone that can't, is not even aware of why you're just being angry at other people why you're not being kind. You don't even realize it, but at the end of the day, the reason why you might be acting out is what I'm hearing, is because there's some kind of challenge that you're going through that you're not even facing. And you're in this vicious circle because you don't realize that, so you're not walking that path towards the challenge to understand it, to love it, to accept it, to work through it. When you can do all of those steps and face the challenge, the challenge dissipates. You become calmer. You become more at peace and you become kinder. The flip side of this card is who is not being kind to you. And I want you to think about why you're still in that relationship if that is the case. You deserve to be treated with kindness. So if you are in a situation where someone is not treating you well, it's time to tune in, face the challenge, walk the path to determine why and realize that you are worth more than anything in this world. You deserve to be with someone who treats you with kindness. And if you're going through that part of the reading, the second half, Ask Archangel Michael to come in and give you the strength to walk away. Now, remember, Michael and Raphael came into this reading before I even started it. And we're going to get back to them. But I think that they're just here just to hold space through this message. And for you to know that whether you chose card one or card two, and we're getting to card three, they will always be there to support you. It is your job to give them permission you have free will. So give them the permission, give Michael the permission to give you strength to walk away from a situation or to give you the courage to do so, to protect you through any and all situations you're going through, any challenges you're facing. And what was the first card? Gratitude. That's healing. When you can already Thank the universe for receiving whatever it is that you need to receive for your highest good. Even if you don't know what it is, that is a step in the healing process. So both card one and two are helping us on this journey, Michael and Raphael, through the healing and through giving you the strength to do the healing. So many people don't do the healing. And the other thing I want to say to you about card number two is if you are in a situation where you're not being treated kindly, Michael can come in and use his sword to cut away any attachments that you might have to that individual or that situation. All right, let's get to card number three. And card number three is another Archangel, Archangel Raguel. So we have three in the team here. We have Raguel. We have Michael and we have Raphael. Now the Archangel Raguel is the Archangel that helps us with harmony in relationships. And the card that goes with it is compassion. And card number two was kindness. So we have kindness and compassion. Two very high vibrational ways of being. And so this card is compassion. And what I see through this card is that First of all, the angels want to support you so much. Imagine the angels are wrapping their wings around you and you can just melt into them and you can give them all of your worries, all of your fears, all of your anxieties. Think about that right now. Do that visual. When you do that for yourself, if when you end this video and you give yourself the time to do so, melting into the angels' wings literally melting in 
you are being compassionate to yourself because you are unloading what they can carry that you can no longer carry. The Archangel Raguel can help you with harmony in a relationship, harmony within yourself. If you are going through something right now where you are feeling very unbalanced, that's the Archangel you want to call upon to help you bring balance back into your energy field. The Archangel Michael is like the bodyguard. The Archangel Raphael is like the doctor, the healer. The Archangel Raguel is the one who will help you go through this process to bring your body, your mind, and your spirit back into balance. And this is a week, I guess, that we're going through where we need to be working on this for ourselves, each and every one of us. You look around the world and you see a lot of anger. You see a lot of frustration. You see a lot going on that you cannot even believe. It is unimaginable that we are living in times right now in the way that things have unraveled so quickly in the last three years, but it had to happen and you chose to be here. And whatever you're personally going through at this time is part of that unraveling because we are all going through something or another to help us all grow. We are all growing spiritually. Our ancestors are coming in. Each of our ancestral lineages are coming in because it's time to heal. Wounds and traumas within each ancestral lineage. And then think about that. If we each heal those things, well, then the whole becomes healed in a sense. If any of us, or I'm doing it, but everybody else is not doing it around me, that is the cause for the anger, the frustration, the aggravation, the unbelievableness, whatever you're feeling. So it's time for you to tune in. If you're listening to this, you're going through something because we're all going through something and we all need to feel all of our feelings. We all need to realize that it's time to grow. It's time to release what no longer serves us. It's time for change and change needs to happen. And the only one that you can change is you. So tune in, ask your angels to support you. You know what you need to do. The Archangel Uriel is not in these cards, but he's the Archangel that can help you to figure out if you really don't know what it is that you need to heal. He can help you, but I'm sure that you know. And we're gonna end this reading. I'm gonna pull one more card to give us a final message for today. Yeah, two cards came out. And the moral of this whole reading and the fact that we are growing is that it is time for you to be discerning more than you ever have before. If you made some decisions in the last three years or two years that you wish that you hadn't, it was a lesson in discernment. You need to be kind to yourself. You need to be grateful. You, if you know, if whatever you've gone through, you're doing well, you need to have compassion for yourself. But that and this is a lesson in discernment. Even this reading today, you take what resonates, you let go of the rest. This is channeling through me. Words are coming out of my mouth. I don't even know they're coming so fast that I don't even know what I'm saying. So it's your job to listen to them and use discernment. Maybe something doesn't make sense, let it go. Maybe it does, hold on to it and think about it. And then the second part of this is having hope. No matter what we're going through, we are gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay, but we have to go through it. So allow yourself to go through it. If you're having a hard time with it, you're gonna have the hard days. We all are having those hard, lonely, isolating, I can't even believe this is happening days. You need to lean into those feelings. That's part of this process and have gratitude for all of the support that you have around you in the spirit realm and reach out to earthly human beings if you need them. They're around you too. I hope that this message helped you today. You have all the archangels around you. I wish you guys a great week. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.